Okay, YouTube, Steve and I are making a sign for um, our homestead. So I want to show you my part here behind the scenes as Steve's in the garage uh, cutting down the boards. And... Hi, hi baby. <laughs> I got a screamer over there. So this is the SVG file that I have on my Cricut uh, design space. This is the one I chose. And if you click on it, uh, if I can find the right mouse, if you click on it, it will be 16 and a half by eight and a half. So that's the size I chose, um, or adjust it to. So Steve's making the board um, about 21 inches long, uh, and then um, about a foot high. So we've done them longer. You can just kind of decide what size you want to do, but we're putting a frame on this. So uh, this is the one I chose. And what I did is when I was finished, I hit weld. So I welded, I welded my image. Those of you who know how to use Cricut and I'm going to hit make it. So I go to this page and um, you can see my file and I'm going to need the really long um, two foot mat because it's uh, it's longer than um, a foot long. So I have over here I already put my stencil vinyl on. Now stencil vinyl I have I have used um, removable vinyl for uh, a stencil before and it's to be honest I didn't like it it was horrible the paint will leak through and you just have a lot of touch-up to do so I purchased this Cricut stencil vinyl and I love it so if you could you'll see later when I'm putting it on in the garage this blue is actually uh, it's clear when you peel it up so when you put this with your transfer paper on your wood you can see the wood on the bottom or through the papers through the stencil so it's much easier to line up. So I put this on here and um, I'm going to turn on my Cricut. <laughs> and um, I will, I'll show you how to cut it out. So I'm turning my Cricut on and while that gets ready, over here on your computer screen, you can hit continue down here in this bottom right corner. And um, I just cut my, my stencil vinyl out um, when it says set material. I'll show you which one I choose. I just hit premium vinyl. That's all I'm going to use. And I'm not going to mirror the image because I'm not doing an iron on. And um, then I'm going to come back over to my Cricut and the light's blinking. So I am going to slide my mat in and hit the arrow. Whoop. I gotta push it in. There we go, I took it in. Last time I didn't take it in. And um, once that light's blinking, I can hit that and it's going to cut out my image. And I'll show you what I do when I'm done. Okay, so here's my stencil. And I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see it without the, with the lines on the blue, but I'm going to now uh, take my weeding tool and I'm going to weed out the background because I'm going to put my stencil um, the opposite of what most people do. I like to put the words actually on my board and then paint over instead of putting the whole stencil missing the words, if that makes sense. And um, you can reverse weed, um, but I'm just going to weed uh, the background out and put my transfer taper over, over this and um, uh, you can take a peek in a, in a minute. Okay, so I have a piece of transfer tape here, and I bought this kind of Amazon. I'm not quite sure what brand it is, but I really like it. 
um, and it has these nice lines on the on the top of the paper. So um, it helps me line up my my project and um, line it up when I'm putting it on the wood as, as well. So you're gonna peel. I'm gonna peel back my transfer paper if I can get a piece of the corner. Don't mind my messy fingers. I was working in the garden earlier, but they're clean. They're just clean. So, and I'm going to, what I like to do is I kind of like to line it up and I stick it right in the middle like that. And then I push it down to the sides. And sometimes it goes on a little crooked, but it's okay. As long as the paper is covering the whole, <laughs> the whole, <laughs> the kids are playing over there with the baby, the whole um, image, then you're going to be fine. And here's my image. Um, I'm going to trim around the outside so it's, it's square and lined up, and then we will take it out and put it on the wood. Hey guys, this evening we are making some wooden signs, and I wanted to show you one we're making. Uh, pretty neat one here. I want to show you how we make them. My wife designs them on the Cricut. She has a cricket, and then I cut out everything here. So I'm going to show you what we do tonight. We got some pretty thin plywood, as you can see there. And this here, it's about an inch and a half or so, almost two inches is going to be my framing for it. So let's get sawn. And this, this picture is going to be 21 a foot wide by 21 inches long. So let's get going. be the size of it if you can see here we're gonna just put a light coat on here because I don't want it too dark of white I just want it to kind of I want you kind of see a little bit of the wood through it so it's not gonna be a perfect coat in fact I probably should have brushed this on but we're gonna use the rest of this in this can All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to cut our angles. So let's get our piece out. Let me put this out a little bit more. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get an angle cut right here at the beginning. lock my slide in here real quick okay so what we're gonna do is flip that and then we're gonna measure Twenty one inches and get my mark here. Well, I lost my pencil. <laughs> so we're gonna put a little mark down here where twenty one is. We wanna go a hair over that. So let's turn our laser on. Okay. 
So I want to be a hair long on that. Well, we cut these because I want it to be a hair over the actual board length. So we're going to try to get these about even. Pretty close. All right. What I like to do is just take a little piece of sandpaper, just get that burr right off. Usually comes right off with just a quick hit of the sandpaper like that. You can see that. Gives you a nice clean edge. And I like to see a nice tight seam in all the corners. So that went together real well. So that's gonna be the frame. I'm making it a little bit wider of a frame. It's actually, you see, about an inch and a half frame on there. So that will look nice on there. All right, what I got here is some barn and fence white paint. And I have a, a sponge brush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna Give these a nice kind of like almost a streaky kind of look on them I'm, I'm going for here if you can see that so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get our edges as well all right so here is um, our image we pulled it off of the transfer paper paper um, this was the backing and this is the transfer paper so it's now sticking to this part of the paper. <clears throat> and we have to center it on this board that my husband cut out and painted. And this is the tricky part because I didn't measure it. I'm just eyeballing it. And if you just set on lightly you can always peel it back up. Just don't push it down until you're sure. So it's, this is the nice thing I like about the um, stencil papers because it's clear and you can see through onto the board a little bit because it's just a, like a clear blue. <clears throat> and then you're going to use your nice flattening tool and you're going to push it onto the board. Once you have this pressed down and you're pretty happy with it, I like to just fold it over like this and slide it back slowly just to make sure it's all sticking to the board and it looks like it's sticking pretty nice and if you can look through you can push down any pieces that may have popped up when you were pulling it off but, all right now we can work on painting it okay a, a little trick that we learned um well i learned from just trial and error is we did the background in white so I put the stencil on then I'm going to put another layer of white or just a, a real thin layer over the stencil letters um, it just helps the main color not to bleed underneath it kind of seals the stencil in place um, you don't have to do this step but I just do it because I think it turns out overall better and I'm always pleased with the, the final product thinking what if it would have bled through if I didn't do this <laughs> All right, so once this dries, this is all dry here, you notice there's a little bubble there. So sometimes when you peel this off, you're gonna have to touch it up a little bit. So we might have to do that in a couple spots. So what we have here, this is barn red paint, and we're gonna paint the whole sign red. So, let's get it painted. And you wanna go over the letters real quick. Yeah, I'm leaving the side, the borders, because I'm gonna be covering that up with my trim. And I don't want the red along the edge. I want, I want it to be white, so that's why I'm leaving a little around the top here. Okay, 
the paint is dry, now we're going to take the stencil off and we'll see if we need any touch up. So I just pick, I just got to pull this stencil up. And then you just slowly peel it off. It breaks off in pieces, but that's okay. All right, so there is what it will look like without the frame around it. And we're gonna do that right now. And if you can see this here, I already glued it together and on the back I have a staple, if you can see, in each corner. And that holds it together and then I glued it together so it, it stayed together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our picture here. We're gonna put a frame down, upside down. We're gonna take our uh, picture center over here real quick. And then I'm gonna put a little bit, just a couple dabs of glue on just to hold it, nothing major. But it'll give it a little extra hold. So, then we're gonna take our picture, gonna turn it upside down, and we're gonna put that on. my calculations were correct it should fit perfectly <laughs> there give it a little press down make sure the glue hits all right now we have it all lined up we're going to take our electric brad and staple gun we're going to put some brads in here and we'll put a couple right in the top try to get one in the middle here down here and we'll come down our edges then I'm gonna put a couple more across the top here your finished product. Well, it ain't quite finished. I'm going to put a couple hangers on the back. But that is a nice little white barn white. Oh, you like it too? Look it. Peyton, look. All right, on the back here, we're going to hang a couple of these uh, for hanging up on the wall. So we'll put a couple on each corner. And I'll get those on and then we'll show you what it looks like. So there is the finished product. Our little farmhouse. This sign is 12 inches high by 21 inches wide. Uh, we have the brackets as you can see on the back for hanging. And we can make these pretty much any size you want, any kind of frame, any color any phrase you want on it. Um, this is a stencil, but we also do vinyl as well. So if you're looking to have a custom sign made by us for inside or outside, uh, stay tuned for our website uh, store that should be opening. I was hoping this month in July, but I'm looking more like August. So pay attention for that. But we have tons of these things we're already making for people. Signs like that welcome sign, different colors. Um, things for your garden and barns and stuff like that. There's one we're doing now on a bunch of piles as you can see there. So if you're looking for uh, a sign, let us know. We will uh, have some pricing and, and stuff like that up too. So thanks for watching. God bless y'all. Take care.